Leo hii tukekuwa na hafla ingine tofauti. Nilikuwa nimealikwa na gavana Niji Mombasa siku ya leo tarehe 13 siku ya Jumanne ngekuwa kwa hapa Mombasa na state of the county address. That is what I was invited to come to. Alafu jana akanipiga simu akaniambia mimi kwa bahati mbaya speaker alikuwa ameenda Afrika Kusini amepeleka mgonjwa huko na ajarudi. Akaniambia mimi lakini niko na hafla nyingine muhimu zaidi. Moja ya ku launch the school feeding program na ngine ni ya scholarship launch scholarship in the afternoon are you ready to come still i said i will come bo mimi nikaja kwanza nataka kutoa shukrani sana kwa huyo kijana yangu huyo kwa kazi ambayo anafanya Asubuhi nimeenda nimezindua ile mpango ya kulisha watoto wachanga ECD Food Food for Education Program ambayo anafanya na nini nyingine shirika nyingine ambayo inawasaidia kulisha watoto chakula karibu watoto alofu kumi wanapata chakula ya mchana katika shule That is something very very commendable. Alafu sasa nimekuja kwa hii hafla ya kuzindua hii mpango ya scholarships 400 children or students for four years in high school. Hii ni ongera sana sana sana. Kwa huyo kijana yangu. Amesoma vizuri. Amefundishwa vizuri. Amepata nyayo ya yule aliyetoka hapa mheshimiwa Ali Hassan Joho. Maana yake elimu ni kitu muhimu sana. Kuanzia shule ya msingi. Sasa ukisoma ile manifesto ya ODM na ya azimio. Tuliweka manane sana kwa mambo ya elimu. We say that there are five fundamental human rights which are enshrined in our constitution. Katiba yetu imeweka hizo tano, haki tano. Ya kwanza ni haki ya maisha, the right to life. It's enshrined in the constitution. Usiwe mtu yote, kila mtu ana haki ya kuishi. Pili, the right to food. Haki ya kupata chakula. Kila Mwinadamu ako na haki ya kupata chakula. Mtu yote asilale na njaa kwa kukosefu ya chakula. Tatu ni haki ya afya. Right to good health. Kila mtu ana haki ya kuwa na afya safi. Na kiwa mgonjwa apate matibabu. Hata kama yeye hana pesa nne ni haki ya elimu haki ya kupata, kupata elimu right to education kila mtoto ambaye tuzaliwa katika taifa letu hata kama wazazi hawana pesa apate na pati sawa na watoto wengine ya masomo kuanzia nursery primary secondary mpaka chuo kikuu kulingana na kipawa cha Mwenyezi Mungu ndio sababu sisi kama azimio katika ile manifesto yetu tulisema watoto watasoma bure kuanzia chini mpaka juu na tulijua hiyo pesa itatoka wapi hayote hiyo yale ambaye huyu gavana anafanya hapa na serikali ya Mombasa hapa ni muhimu sana 
kisha kwamba watoto wachanga wanaweza kupata elimu sawa sawa wanapewa chakula mchana ili afya yao iwe sawa na vile vile wanaweza kuwa na akili timamu ya kusoma vizuri pili wale watoto ambaye wamepita mtihani lakini hawana karo ya kuendelea na masomo yao ameingia pale sasa yeye anatoa scholarship kwa watoto kusoma bure kwa gharama ya serikali ya county ya Mombasa commendable sasa kitu kingine ambacho sema hapa muhimu zaidi ni mambo ya kutolaumu yule ambaye wewe umefuata i siasa ya lawama ni siasa mbovu you should not blame your predecessor ukishika tamu ya utawala endelea na kazi pale ambayo umeshika sisi tulipoingia kwa serikali kwa mara ya kwanza tulipotoa kanu 2003 tulikuwa na bwana Kibaki Kibaki alikuwa kazi haile maututi alikuwa amepata ajali ya gari akoku hali mbaya zaidi lakini katika kampeni yetu tulikuwa tumetoa hadi atitukishika utawa hata ya utawala tutaleta masomo ya bure ya primary kibaki alisema ilikuwa ni ahadi na tuifanye tukatangaza mwezi huu ilikuwa tuliingia serikali mwezi wa januari mashule inafunguliwa tukasema kuanzia mwezi huu kila mtoto atangia mtihani one bure hakuna karo na shule zilijaa wakati walikuja hata mwingine alikuwa anaitwa mzee Marube alikuwa miaka 84 na, na aliingia darasa ya kwanza kulikuwa hata kuna mali ya watoto kusoma sasa wengi walikuwa nasoma chini ya mti nje unaki e, nini tulikuwa hatuna manyumba tuka daribu tukatafuta mbinu ya kuleta picho pesa hatukuzilisha ushuru maana tulipata kama hazina ilikuwa tupu ili anyayo wacha hiyo uhuru ikamba zaidi lakini hatukulaumu nyayo tena hatukuongeza ushuru tulitumia kili tukaangalia hii hazina iko namna gani tukaona hii hazina iko sawa sawa hakuna kitu mbaya ubaya ni kwamba hii nyungu inavuja pale mbaye pesa inaingia hapa ndani namna hii na inatoka huko chini tukaenda tukaziba zile mianya tukaziba mianya tukapanua hii kikapu baada miezi mbili tatu nyungu ikaanza kujaa pesa hatukuzidisha ushuru na tukaanza kupata pesa na wale wafadhili kutoka nje walipoona kama sisi wenyewe tunapata pesa yetu na tunachunga vizuri wakaanza kupata sisi msaada wakasema we are going to give you grant for the free primary education program DFID ingereza wakaleta pesa USAID ya Marekani wakaleta pesa Wajerumani wakaleta pesa Wasiden wakaleta pesa hiyo pesa walikuwa naleta ilikuwa ni grant hapana mkopo tukapata pesa ya kutosha ya kujenga manyumba darasa ya vijana watu kusoma tuka muda hiyo free primary education bila shida yote sasa jamaa hawa walipoingia wameanza kulaumu uhuru. Uhuru alikuwa hapa uhuru hakuwa anaendesha serikali peke yake. Alikuwa rais, alikuwa na naibu yake. Naibu yake alikuwa ni nani? Naibu uhuru alikuwa ni nani? Alikuwa na mapamba ni secretary, so alikuwa na mapamba ni secretary. So alikuwa kwa ndani ya hiyo serikali. Sasa wewe unasema ati uhuru ndio alifanya peke yake. Wewe huko katika hiyo serikali unaanza kulaumu uhuru. Sasa ni mwaka mmoja na nusu tangu uhuru atoke. 
yetu ile baada ya miezi mitatu peke yake tulikuwa tayari tumepata pesa ya kutosha hii sasa ni miezi 18 bado na laumu tu uhuru akora kuna kitu mbona ni sasa angalia serikali vile vile Abdul Samad amesema hii miundo miundo ya serikali mpya hii kuna serikali 48 moja ya kitaifa na 47 ya counties kama ya kitaifa iko na deni hata ya county vile vile ziko na deni bona hawa magavana wa jalaumu magavana ambao walitoka bona abusomal jalaumu joho ya jalaumu hasan sababu gani kule kilifi yule mngaru halaumu nani halaumu kingi kule nini kila mahali kenya mzima kuna magavana mapya wameingia na wamepata madeni wanaendelea kuendesha serikali kila hawa jamaa wameshindwa kuendesha serikali kwa sababu hakuna nchi katika ulimwengu hii there's no country in the world without debt serikali ya marekani kwa sasa iko na debt ya dola trillion 33 trillion Uh, 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 dola debt serikali ya marekani ya japani debt yao ukilinganisha na gdp ni karibu karibu 90 90% ya kenya japika hata 60% tafika deni yote ambayo serikali ya afrika yote kuchukua yote ziko nazo ni kidogo kuliko deni ambayo serikali ya ubelgiji peke yake iko nayo Africa is not in a debt crisis. Africa is not in a debt crisis. What we are having in Africa is basically mismanagement of the economy of African countries. If you, if you were to manage properly African economies, there is sufficient wealth within this continent to move forward. But what we are having here is complete inefficiency uh, and, and gluttony. That is the big problem that we must solve in the African continent. You don't have a problem. We are not in a, a crisis. No country can develop without borrowing. You use somebody's money to do your work. What is important is where do you invest what you have borrowed? Because if you invest properly, then there's a there's return on investment. And that will actually increase your ability to repay the debt. But if you invest in consumption, then of course you have a problem in repaying the debt. This is where we are. This is what needs to be addressed in this country. But you must have a serious conversation about debt management. Sasa hawa watu, mulisikia mi siwe kwa tinapega wa kelele wa katila ujui ya mamba ya Eurobond, Eurobond. Sasa wawo wawo, sasa wanalea Eurobond na kuja, Eurobond na kuja, chore yao. So we have a, a way of dealing with these issues. And what we don't want to tell them because they are not people that can be advised. They don't want to listen to any kind of advice. Sasa, sisi kama azimio tulikona mpangu kamili ya kuendeshe chumi yetu. Na hiyo sasa, tumameka kando kidogo. Tunaengelea sasa kumane pale ambayo tunamaneji. But this government is undermining devolution. So now you want to take ECD, early child uh, uh, development. They want to take, it's a devolved function, they want to take it back to the national government. Primary health care is a devolved function, they want to take it back. They are not able to deal with the functions which have not been devolved, but they now come back to try to take functions which have been devolved by denying county government funding. They are not bringing down funds down to enable the county government to manage the devolved functions. Instead, they're trying to claw back and take them back to the national government. This is actually a recipe for disaster. It's a disaster in the making. And it must be resisted in the strongest terms possible. 
You are unable to deal with functions which are not devolved. You are trying to take back the functions which have been devolved by the nine county government funding. Shame on you. Shame on you. We will resist. We will resist. But now finally, let me say this. CC tuko katika ODM. ODM yuko ndani ya azimio. Sasa kwanza, a strong ODM means a strong azimio. Ndiyo sababu sisi tuna imarisha cha machetu cha OD. And ODM is a democratic party. We are recruiting members now in, we started in, in, in November, December, January, February, up to March. When we reach March, we are going to do elections. So, fanya uchaguzi mwezi wa March. Taanza katika kituo cha chini ile ya polling station. Wanachama watajumika pale na kuchagua viongozi, delegates. Kutoka pale, wataenda delegate katika Ward. Watachagua sasa ward officials. Kutoka ward wataenda kwa branch ambayo ni sub county constituency. Mombasa hapa ni sita. Watachagua officials ya, uh, ya branch. Kutoka pale watakuja sasa Mombasa kuchagua officials ya county. How, sasa wale wa county na wale wa constituency ndio wataenda kwa national delegates convention. Na pale watachagua viongozi wote wa kitaifa hata party leader atachaguliwa mpya. Wakichagua baba sawa sawa. Walisimuchagua yeye hey, ni sawa. Democracy. Kwa hivyo mtu asiseme kwamba baba is an automatic candidate for presidency. Hassan Joho is a deputy party leader of ODM. Yes, Oparanya is a deputy party leader of ODM. Wako entitled ya kwenda kuwania kiti ya party leader ya ODM. Sitoshi, ata candidate ya ODM ya presidential is on the table. Tukikubaliana ati baba endelee sawa sawa. Wakiona baba anachoka sasa akae kando mwingine jaribu sawa sawa. Sio demokrasia. Mama Ida kama anasema baba sasa amechoka waweza kuendelea mbele sisi. <laughs> Kwa hivyo sisi tuko sawa sawa tutafanya pamoja vizuri kabisa. Kama ni Hassan Joho ndiye amekuwa nominated nitamuunga mkono. Juzi nilimwambia Kalonzo mimi naweza kuunga wewe mkono. Kama wewe ndio watu wanasema wewe unatosha mimi nitaunga wewe mkono. Wakisema baba endelee si baba ataendelea. Si baba ataendelea. Hiyo ndio demokrasia. Tusiseme ya kwamba this position is reserved for Raila. Hapana. Raila is not indispensable. Mimi naweza kufanya kazi nyingine. Si naweza kufanya kazi nyingine. Naweza kufanya kazi nyingine tu. Kuna ubaya gani? Hakuna ubaya. Hakuna ubaya bwana. Tunataka kujenga chama ambaye ina nguvu. Ambaye watu wake yote wanafurahi wakitoka wanatoka manake they convinced this is a winning ticket. Hiyo ndio chama chetu ya ODM. Ndio kama mimi nataka that is what I want to be with the future generation of our country. A democratic system that is working. Strong institutions that are working. Not things which are personalized. Raela akitoka namna hii, ODM imekwisha. Hapana. ODM itakuwa manake, joho watakweko. Paranya watakweko. Watu ngini watakweko wote, watu kwa hapa. Abilisoma watakweko. Machele watakweko. So, tumaleona vizuri. Baba, endelea si endelea. Endelea si endelea. Endelea si endelea. Baba, endelea niyo ni mkona. Endelea si endelea. 
Asadani Sana Mungo Bariki.